guys, welcome back. So we are about to fight Nemesis now because that's what I think uh, is uh, up above on that rooftop. A big lurking boss battle. I think we're set on ammo because uh, I don't really have anything else. Let's see, we don't really have anything we can combine. Like I said, I'm counting on being able to shoot down his uh, little flamethrower pack that he has on his back because uh, otherwise we're screwed. So apparently the Final Fantasy VII Deluxe Edition is sold out at Target. I waited too, way too long. I should have just bought it immediately yesterday instead of waiting for today to get that last final gift card. Which means I now have a choice to make. Do I hold out and hope that I or try to get the deluxe version some other way? Or hope that they restock? Since you know this isn't a limited edition. Or do I just get the regular edition? Just buy the regular game. See, the thing is, the only thing I really want is the art book. Because I love those. I just got one for the, for the Rise of Skywalker Blu ray from Target. I actually like the Walmart cover more, but the Target version had the art disc, I mean the art book. And I think I also got one for some game, I forget which, but uh... Oh yeah, Persona 3, I have the art book for that, so... I love those, but um... I don't really care about the soundtrack, because this is a mini soundtrack, which means it's only gonna have like, maybe five tracks or so on it, it's not gonna be the full thing. And I don't really care about the materia because, uh, you know, a cactuar materia would be nice, but uh, I don't think it's really gonna make that much of a difference in uh, in terms of boss battles. Like they're not gonna give you a really overpowered materia right off the bat. That's just not gonna happen. So it'll be a nice bonus, but uh, I'm not sure how useful that thing would actually be. So is it even worth it to try to wait more and? you know, buy the deluxe edition which will cost me twenty dollars more, should I just buy the plain old regular version? Because from where I'm seeing Ah, oh, son of a fucking bitch. I knew he was up here. I knew he was up here and he still scared the hell out of me. Yeah fuck you. He's a smart tyrant. It's like those smart dogs in the Geico commercial. That is the Geico commercial, right? The one with the smart dogs to prevent people from uh, getting distracted while driving. Those commercials are awesome. Not some of their stupider ones like the uh, bird in the bush one. That one sucks, but uh, Dog ones are pretty good. What's in here? Oh, I hear Mr. Charlie. Alright, so we got some explosives. There's some health. Also keeping an eye every so often on my horse racing uh, website. There's a horse racing named Cubix. I wasn't sure whether to bet on him or not, but I, I actually went with one that's called Cinnamon Missile. 
That actually sounds like something I'd love to see in real life. Who wouldn't love a cinnamon missile? See, I don't know whether to use this or not because the thing is, we're making all these flame rounds, but we can create explosive and... Oh no, wait, wait a second, wait a second. We have two A's now, so we can create explosive. Uh, okay, so let's, yeah, let's do that. Because I was going to say there's also acid rounds, so I don't know if we should save those, but, uh, yeah, let's make some explosives. We can use them. We'll keep those on him. I mean, on her. I don't know if it, I don't know if, is it even worth it to save? Might as well, I guess. out there. So if there was a Mr. Charlie out there, he's uh he's gone now. I'm gonna have to wait until the next game. Mr. Charlie somewhere in here, but uh, I don't know, maybe it was just the music, because I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I guess that's just uh, plain old music, because uh, yeah, I don't see him anywhere around here. And I don't think they're really gonna throw one at you during a Nemesis fight. I just don't see that happening, so... Yeah, I guess I'm mistaken. Can we switch these? I wanna see what the explosives do. Oh yeah, we just use uh, L1. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Got explosive rounds. But I think I'm going to try to shoot the tank on his back first. Yeah, I think that was just the music. I don't think there's actually one of those little dolls around here. Hey, we can actually go up the cupboard escalator. You probably shouldn't do that in real life, but... Uh, Four zombies, really? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, screw you guys. Oh, here he comes. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I gotta get out, quick. Yeah, I'm sure there's definitely Mr. Charlie somewhere around here, but um, we don't have time for that bullshit. I'm gonna jump. Here we are. I was about to say we're trapped. Here he comes. Run, chill. Why are you just standing there? stuff we missed. Oh man, we're in a, we're in a construction site? I'm guessing this is like their little version of the construction site in the original game, where you had those uh, drain demos or brain suckers, whatever. You remember that where we dropped a little wooden pallet on them? Yeah, you could drop it on. You could drop it either on the bugs to kill them, or you could drop it on Nemesis himself. He 
know what, let's put this away. Might as well. It's a boss fight, so we might as well use it. We don't need this right now, so... Also, oh, demolition site. Got it. Here it is. Boss fight arena. We're gonna get killed here. Alright, let's do this. Maybe I can hit the fuel tank. Damn, we got no bullets. I should have made more. Let's send them on fire. Okay, so it's not too bad so far. It's kind of slow. The tank obviously slows them down. So we gotta get around them. space. Maybe we can use the electricity here. I mean, it still has some juice left. Let's lure him over here. There we go. Hey, we blew him up. See what he does now. Now that his little flame tank is gone. We're still kicking. Shit, he can actually dodge.
That's it for two. Oh no, we're still alive. Somehow, miraculously. Cost us all of our health and almost all of our ammo, but we actually defeated Nemesis. Cool. Nemesis down. Yeah, not for long. He's gonna come back. Holy shit, we used up all of our health. We used up three explosive grenades and all of our shotgun ammo, so we got Jack. This is close to uh, the police department, isn't it? Carlos, it's Jill. Do you read me? Loud, loud and clear. All right. All right. Yeah. Bastard's dead. Good, good. Fuck, fuck him. What were you thinking? Were you thinking? Turning, yourself Turning yourself into bait. You could have been, been, been killed. Don't start. I did what I had to. Here's the gas station. Stag the gas. Carlos is so in love with Joa, even at this point. Damn, so we can't get to Stag the gas? It's funny, I remember uh, in the guide from the original uh, RE3, in one of the, one of the playthrough guides that I own, I think it's the Brady one, from Brady Games. They pointed out that a uh, like Stagla gas, the original figure had a. It didn't have a proper number on it, so it's, instead of saying like, you know, a dollar twenty-one per gas, you know, per gallon, it says something like a hundred twenty-one dollars per gallon. They were comparing it to like a third world gas station. You know, they missed the the little dot in between the two numbers. Oh, we got some bullets, thankfully. Where are we going? Damn, look at that. This sticks out all the way out into the map. So there's a demolition site. That's where we came from. Are we supposed to climb on top of it or something? Oh, yeah. It's a bridge, a makeshift bridge. This is definitely useful. We could run over Nemesis with this truck. Oh, and there's an auto save, which means he's gonna come back soon. So I'm wondering, is it worth it? Because we know he's gonna come back. Is it even worth it to blow up that I'm um, killed the zombie using that uh, barrel there? Because we know he's gonna come back. And there's Kendo's shop. Hey, there's the RPD, it's right here. Nope, no Mr. Charlie. Let's look over here before uh, going over there.
There's a nice white sports car. Okay, so this take, this takes place uh, before and after RE2, so uh, Ada hasn't gotten over here yet. You see everything's still shut down, it's all locked down. So, uh, Leon hasn't uh, met his uh, spying bitch yet. God damn. I'm looking over at the horse racing chart. Uh, Cubex won in first place. It should have been on him instead of Cinnamon Missile. Over one twelve dollars or six dollars in second place. God damn it. I should have known with name that Cubex he will win. But I don't know, this is if he had been named Cubabor, I probably would have bet on him. You ever play that game Cubabor? I was fascinated by it when I first heard of it. Because I thought it was going to be about like blocky dinosaurs. But no, it's just an ordinary puzzle game. That sucks. Man, I should have bet on Cubix. Why the hell didn't I bet on him? Would have won. Oh, we can't open this yet. Why not? Really? Can we just shoot it? Oh yeah, they're not coming. Maybe we can shoot it. Let's see. Nope, that was a waste of bullets. God damn it. I'm guessing Kendo has the lock, doesn't he? And I'm guessing something is gonna happen to his daughter here since this is before the little scenario where he meets Leon, so... Fucking hell, why didn't I bet on Cubix? Hey, Kendo's got some explosive uh, powder here. Look at that. Semi-auto semi -auto barrel. Custom part for the M3 shotgun. Designed for semi-automatic fire. Allows more rapid firing while also reducing speed for greater power. Let's combine it then. M3 shotgun. A must have when fighting many foes. Has great control and wide pellet spread. But it also takes up two spaces, so now you're short on space. So does Kendall just restock when uh, Leon comes back here? When he comes through here in the original, uh, I mean in the RE2 remake? Yeah, let's clear some space. Okay, so we got explosive A. We got B. So we got a... I think I'm going to save it to make acid rounds, because uh, those are the most powerful. So we can use those. Come on! Shit, chill! Kendall, you're alright. Yeah, all alright to stretch. Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. No shit. Look, we're using the subway to get people out of town. You in? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. When we get out, there's gonna be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. What's wrong? Nothing. Just, uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um... Don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> Take care, Jill. If you're heading to the station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Yeah, his daughter's infected already. So is his wife. <laughs> 